going to bowl uh, some people here in a minute. Uh, these fans wanted to bowl with us and uh, anti-flag. Yeah, so people don't realize that we were bowling before they like they were still in diapers and we were already bowling. So yeah, we've been bowling for years. You don't you don't stand a chance. We're about to give some free lessons in the bowling department right now. Start drinking. You're going to need all the help you can get. <laughs> So, um, yeah, what have you guys been up to? What have uh, your European tour? We've been on tour for almost six weeks, five weeks already, and uh, it's been fantastic. Yep, got about, uh, I don't know, two, a little over uh, two weeks, a little under two weeks left, and uh, been going back and forth to Europe, and it's been great. So, mainland Europe, mainland Europe. Yeah, we want to be clear, mainland Europe yeah. and UK Europe is now allegedly a different thing. It is. So, you were up in uh, the north of England. Uh, a couple of days ago at uh, Kendall Calling. Yes. I heard that went down really well. It was great. That was one of the, uh, you know, they're all good, but that was one of the better festivals this tour, I think, for us. Yeah, it was a great crowd. That was awesome. It's kind of weird. We, we've played like, you know, Reading and Leeds and, you know, a couple of huge festivals, but there's a lot of festivals out there that we've never really had a chance to hit, and, and that's like an example of one. You know, we've heard of it, but we never got to play that one before. Yeah, which and is it, cool, because it's yeah. something different. Yeah, and so it was awesome. It's like, kind of feel like there's fans of the band there, but we're playing to some people that may never have heard of us, and that's always cool. Yeah, because it's a different kind of scene for that kind of festival, isn't it? Like, um, and then, what is it, in, yeah, about a week, you're going over to Belgium? For uh, Ipa Fest, yeah. yeah. Ipa Fest will be there. That's uh, next Sunday, the 16th of August. We're playing Rebellion Fest tomorrow with a lot of awesome old school punk rock bands. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So the thing about Ipa Fest was quite interesting when I was looking into it. It's, it's a hardcore festival primarily. So how do you feel like the place? I mean, it's probably the opposite of what you were having at Kendall in terms of what you would expect from the audience there. Yeah. The other end of the spectrum, perhaps. It is. I mean, but but you know, we played in front of hardcore audiences before and. You know, our band like like you know, kind of teeters on like you know the fast punk rock enough where like they get into it and it's it, it still works in that in that atmosphere. They'll probably go off a little more than the Kendall Calling people will. But the Kendall Calling show was great. You know, not because people were going absolutely crazy, it was just great in other ways. How is it playing in a bowling alley? It's great. This is a uh, guy we played a couple bowling alleys. You now. wouldn't think, but there's really good acoustics with the like wooden lanes and everything. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah, a lot of echo, a nice sort of like reverb around the space. It's a, they call it pin echo, pin echo. Yeah, really. it comes off the pins. Yeah. And when there's a strike, our voices get louder for some inexplicable reason. Maybe that's just added ambience. Yeah. Like you try and get everyone to bowl in one go, and then when you have a real sort of like punching note in the song, that's when you want it. Yeah. It's really cool. We played the, the Brooklyn Bowl uh, in New York before and it uh, has a very similar feel and the shows there have always gone off. So Yeah, it almost looks exactly we, the same. We expect nothing less tonight. And are you looking forward to uh, bowling with some of your other fans? That's what we're going to do after we get done talking to you lovely lads. Yeah, 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 yeah. they're queuing up. They're bulging up doors. Yes. And then you're going over to uh, Japan later this year. Yep, Japan, I heard about that. Uh, Japan and Australia will be hitting. Yeah, yeah, with a real big fish in it in Australia. Uh, in, in Japan as well, real big fish, and uh, yeah, in Japan we're playing with uh, this uh, ska punk band called Kamuri. They, yeah, yeah. yeah, they've been uh, they're probably the most popular ska punk band in uh, Japan, and we're playing with real big fish and those guys and Skank and Pickle, and it's gonna be great. I was going to ask because as you travel around the world, right, and you see, you sort of link up with different ska bands in different areas. Um, what do you notice about how the sort of ska scene is from one country to the next? Like, are there sort of certain differentiations of that kind of ska culture that you pick up on or? Not really. The only thing about the ska cultures that are different now is when you come to England and, it, well, Europe, England, and then like places like Quebec City or, or Quebec Montreal, you'll still see like, you know, rude girls and rude boys like dressed up and with the haircut, the Chelsea haircuts and things. Yeah, but the fashion pops up in some places more than others. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it'll be like checkerboard suspenders and like that kind yeah. of thing. And, and that kind of, you know, 
in the States, you really don't really see too much of that. People are just wearing jeans and t-shirts. Very rarely, yeah. But So that's why it feels a little different. But as far as the audiences go, the, the audiences feel pretty pretty uh, the same everywhere, you know, for Scott Punk, at least for our, our band. Like, you've been over here a few times before, right? Uh, yeah, many times. Many, many times. I was going to say, you must be linking up with old friends, yeah, every time you come back. Yeah, and as old as we are, a lot of them have died off so over the years. But there are seriously fans over here that come see us so often that I see them more often than my own family. And that is the That's truth. That's not a joke. And they don't, some of them don't just follow us here in England, uh, and, and this is a real uh, uh, honor. It's not like it's a bad thing, but they follow us in other uh, places, like they'll go to see us in the States and stuff. So it's cool. There are, the fans in the UK are pretty, pretty diehard. There's loads of... Um, like, I didn't want to go into the sort of like different scenes around the world because I saw um, Vinny had that interview earlier this year about the state of Scar. Yes. I mean, do, do you get asked about stuff like that a lot? Then people are saying like, "Come on, what's going on over here? What's going on?" Like favorite bands, man. You young guys, what who are you into? Yeah, I mean, some. Yeah, we could ask those questions. Sure, sure. Are you asking that question? <laughs> you can give me like a proper condensed answer to the who are your favorite bands at the moment. Go on. At the moment. Um, I haven't listened to anything past like 1999, so I'll, I'll revert he's, the question. He's not lying about I'm that. not lying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been kind of, I've been kind of jumping into old music too, man. It's kind of, I feel like, you know, as a musician, you go through phases where you don't really want to hear what is the up and coming new sound thing. You just want to like lean back on your original influences or maybe stuff that you listened to when you were growing up and kind of uh, get in a sort of a songwriting headspace. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um, but yeah, so I don't like any bands. But because we're gonna, but terrible. because we're gonna get flame for that answer on the internet, um, I will say that you know there there are obviously bands that I've listened to uh, recently that, that are you know touch my ear like a band called Pears. You ever heard of them? They're on Fat Records. Check band. them check them out. So I'll, I'll I'll say that band. Pears, everybody, Pears. But I typically listen to older stuff. Okay.